Hello everyone. Good morning. Thanks for showing uh, interest on my previous video and uh, I appreciate all your comments. And this time I have come up with a new topic. Uh, it's called IntelliTest. Uh, it's an intelligent way of testing uh, our quality, code quality. This is not related to uh, the testing of unit test. Uh, how to test performance coding standard it is not like that it's a kind of value adder to your code where you can deliver a product which is 100 percentage code quality and code coverage in the one line if you use this technique you can cover your code 100 percentage and you will get the better code quality compared to the previous day Okay, let me get into the problem which uh, in day-to-day uh, -day software development process we are facing. Consistent team. It is very difficult uh, to understand a complex problem even though the problem is uh, developed by the, dev uh, the same developer, the same effort is required uh, for writing the unit test. And consistency, it is a big, very big challenge where our code is keep evolving and uh, the developer has to find all the possible scenarios which will it will which will break the our code and the second thing is like 100 percentage code quality if you have 100 percentage code quality which we, we will not get any defects or any bug in our productions but still we are getting and even though we still we are writing the unit test also but we are not able to catch in our development phase even in a sit or prod even we are not able to find it so code quality so that's intelli test will help you to increase the code quality also and the third one is code coverage if you start writing the unit test you increase your increase your code quality obviously that code coverage will increase so this is one of the billion dollar question to get the 100 percentage code coverage in our applications and third scenario is identify uh, possible scenarios for a particular method uh, it is a very difficult job and like even though the person who written the code they are also not able to understand uh, or cannot able to write a possible scenarios where it can break the code that is why we have a developer on top of it we are writing a unit test in our development phase itself where the developer can identify after that once we once it is get out of our hands where we have a testers in a different region they are testing system integration testing regression testing performance testing still we have a bug in a production so this intel test will answer all these questions let me get into the problem which uh, we day to day we are facing. The first problem is complexity of the code. Assume that I have a code which is very complex. So obviously I need to put the same complex effort for writing the unit test also. And there is a possibility where uh, the developer tempting to move out of uh, the actual scope of the scope of the testing. This leads to bugs in our production so the effort after you found the bug in a different box it is more compared to that first phase we are just try to uh, find through the unit test and fix it so intelli intelli test will answer this question and uh, the second problem is one of the challenging uh, things uh, for maintaining the consistency of a code because the code is keep evolving so we need to keep find the loopholes and rectify it and keep move on to that next fly. It is very difficult. So these are the two problems I took and this two problem will be answered by the intelligence. So if you see here, IntelliTest for a .NET, I just uh, coded like a test more with less effort. As I told you earlier, like testing is in a very big effort as like equal to the development effort because we need to understand the code 
plus identify possible scenarios i can break this code so test more with less effort using intelli test as i told like uh intelli test is an intelligent way of testing the complex business logic second thing is how we can do it so what is the approach the intelli test we are going to take it it will generate possible test cases for you yes intelli test on your dotnet code it will generate test cases by dynamically analyzing the code and the test as it is run on the clr so it is in a managed code it will identify possible blocks inside that method or in a code and try to create possible way of breaking it that's what the main job of the intelli te test the next one is like the same as before like uh, for every statement in the code it craft an input that will reach that statement so the obvious ultimate goal of the unit testing is uh, my testing has to reach each and every blocks of the code so the intelli test will help you to reach all the blocks and it's much more similar like an a white box testing where you just bombard with a possible way of inputs to that particular core block and it will test whether it is breaking or not so next step is like um, the intelli test is giving a option of uh, dynamically generating all possible uh test cases and it has its own intelligence for crafting all the test scenarios so ultimately my code coverage will increase because i am covering all the possible uh code blocks inside my uh, method so the last one is it will create an a compact suit for test with the high coverage that you did not have to write from the scratch because this is a very big effort and a very big budget also because the people has to understand the logic and create the unit test and they have to work in the way where break that code so this is all done by the intelli test by a click okay so next we will see how i can make use of this feature as i are uh, told like this intelli test uh, feature will be available from the visual studio 2015 to an evo and so there are three steps uh, it's very simple where you need to find a method and make sure that the method is in a public type where it won't uh, take it consideration for the private one so just right click on the method you can find the menu uh, run intelli test once you run it start compile all your codes and uh, it start dynamically executing uh, understand the code blocks and uh, it will try to show all possible test scenarios for covering all this uh, the particular block so here you, in the second block you are seeing that uh, the possible test scenarios like uh, it's a kind of a row where you can see the two different uh, icons green and red let we understand more on it okay so once i run it it is creating a test scenario for me uh, here you can see the blocks where out of uh, 10 blocks it can able to reach the 10 blocks because we have some scenarios we are end up with a dead code where the code it cannot be reached at the any point of time so we can identify the dead code also here so the next one is the red icon it will shows that the scenario which is failed so it is just an heads up before uh, we get into that uh, any other uh, box testing box so we can identify this scenarios it is breaking so we can uh, understand that scenarios and we just write a uh, code for just patch out of it and we have a green also these are the scenarios which is passed and once you are satisfied with the test cases or any other test cases you required just click or select all just press the button save so it will create automatically code for you in the test project okay now we understand uh, just an abcd like 
how we can do and what is the way it is helping so let's we get into the code this is the code i just uh, sample i created this is a simple logic but i make it as a complex i just have a two input argument uh, both are a type of a string and string so i'm just checking whether this two option is a or in a both as a b if it is both is in a b then go for the process b and if it is both is in a go for a process a the likewise a and b b and a this all the possible scenarios and i have a check for null also let me open this up. okay let me run now this run int test the same process will continue so building later on it is saving and next it will go to the intelli test so now the expectation is it will throw a failed failed scenario where it is uh, failing to bnl let's uh, we see so it is uh, finding po possible test scenarios so here we go out of 8 it can able to identify the, uh, eight possible scenarios out of it five can be a uh, passed and three are failed let's we look okay this is the scenario it is failing where if both are null or any one of the values null the code is breaking as i told you earlier like uh, business logic it is some more different where the testing people will do and test it these are the corner scenario where uh, the entire application is breaking means that if it is a null error it's a gone case null reference or object reference error or uh, the error which is thrown in a parsing time so it will block your entire application so once we identify it we just go and rectify and just uh, fix those issues okay so the last one is like if you want if i want to save this scenario just click on it press the save button so it's created a unit test for you if it is created an unit test so with a less effort it is identify the scenarios and in less effort it is created a unit test class separately for you and next thing is I have a code quality checked and code coverage is hundred percentage. If I saved all this via all these test cases, so let me travel like it's creating object and creating object for that method. And uh, here we go. Controllers came to that application with this possible values. I hope uh, you have understand all my. Uh, uh, this uh, scenarios and uh, logics thanks for watching my video and i hope uh, i have cleared uh, cleared the knowledge about uh, the intellitest if you feel that it wor worth to share please share it and if you have any question please comment it on the comment box i will answer it as possible as early thanks for watching this video thank you very much